Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast Academy for Minecraft 1.12. I am your host slash teacher, Eli the Fatigued, joined by my teacher, well, no, my student slash co-host, there we go, Preston. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, hello. I deserve that. It's fine. All right. Very much, very much the student. <laughs> All right, where are we at? I think I was wanting to go into technology a bit, yeah. So, since we have a bunch of lava nearby, we just need some silver and some invar. So I'm going to show you some more alloy stuff. All right. Let me make sure... Turn up my game on you a bit. The pizza's on its way. Okay, hi, drummer <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I heard his footsteps while I was tabbed out. So we want Invar, and we want silver. So we take a bit of silver, and we take a bit of nickel. We don't have a lot of nickel, unfortunately, but we're going to use all that we have, I think, for this. We also okay. want to make sure there's no gold. Yeah, it looks like it's just aluminum, brass, and, and iron. Yeah, so we'll put in the nickel, yeah. which will combine with the iron, and the silver will not combine with anything except gold, I believe. Okay. Uh, it'll combine with copper and redstone, and glowstone and tin and gold. So other than that, we're good. So we're good. <laughs> I like being good. Right. All right, so we need the uh, silver out, so we'll do this and this. And the nickel will eventually make invar. Okay. It is slowly making invar, so that's good. We have enough for two blocks, it seems, I think. Yes. Mm, we have enough like for cement. two. A little bit. And we have six inks. Okay, these are almost done. Baby zombie, I see you. Okay. You're the worst. I'm right. Let's go get some redstone from over here. Yeah, I probably just want to put all the redstone in the crafting chest. Or crate, I should say. Alright. <clears throat> so first thing that we're going to do. We're going to make a magmatic dynamo. And oh, all we need, a magmatic dynamo. Which requires an invar gear. And... A redstone transition coil. And boom. What this does, it also gives us a quest completion. Ooh. 10,000 lava. Heck yeah. Uh, for completing that quest. <laughs> That's nice. Um, probably hmm. want to put it around, around here. Near the lava. So probably back here, yeah. 10,000 lava, is that what the reservoir is? Yep, that's what it has in it. If you hold shift, I believe. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I felt, but I also know I change like a lot of keybinds and stuff every time I play. So 
I just want to level this area about out a bit. <clears throat> A friendly spider. They're friendly during the day. Yeah, we can keep it as a pet until nighttime. <laughs> And we'd have to slaughter it. All right. So this magmatic dynamo. Uh, no, 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 game. Um, what? I was trying to put it. I was trying to put it down. Okay. So I wasted a bit of that. It's a thermal expansion. Okay, well, then I'll have to scroll through it and find it. Or not. Hmm. So did you mean to put the lava inside it? Uh... I meant to place the reservoir down, because I thought you could do that. Oh. So yeah, don't use... Press none to change on use action. Well... Okay, there we go. That filled it up completely. Lots of energy. I'm just placing it down at this point. I gotta stop doing that. I don't know how to pick it back up, which is a sad thing. So I'll just use a normal bucket. Oh, don't need it in there. So yeah, this is providing us power. <clears throat> and I'll put okay. some copper. I'll put some copper in there as well, because we need that to make the other dynamo we need for the quest. Oh, in the foundry? Yeah, I put some copper in there. Worse than pipes. I love that. Okay. So I just added a bunch of things to the to build uh, section. We're going to make probably the steam dynamo first. <clears throat> um, okay. That's not what you... Oh, uh, did you hit that third one? No. I must have hit the third one, and I just didn't realize it. Because I'm smart like that. There wasn't enough copper in there. <laughs> that was my bad. Entirely.
that was to make the copper. We're good. Okay, so now <clears throat> to make the steam dynamo, we need a copper gear, which is more complicated than later, later burns. <clears throat> and then we need the redstone transmission coil, which is silver and redstone. And that it also takes a few more iron and redstone and copper as well. <clears throat> So the way that steam dynamo works is you use solid fuels mixed with water and it creates steam and that steam makes power okay i believe yes yes okay the aqueous accumulator pulls water from surroundings yes is that what you just put down? Yep. And what we can do to make it function better... I've got the bucket of lava in my inventory. Dang it. I need another bucket. <laughs> there we go. Thankfully, there's just a ton of water and lava around us. I like this place. Yeah, this is a nice little spot to set up camp. Mm-hmm. All right. Infinite water. Wonderful. Perfect. There we go. Cool. And then we put the aqueous accumulator down here. But now we need pipes. Um, hang on. Fix this real quick. There we go. We were both grabbing it at the same time, so it broke the infinite water. Okay. Let's don't fluff up. We do need lead. So let's put lead in the smeltery. Well, you know what? 16 should be fine, actually. All right, so then we also need a fluid duct. Not a hardened one, just a normal one. Hardened is more for lava, which is just glass and copper ingots for a normal fluid duct. We also need, um, what is it, a crescent? Yeah, crescent hammer, which is tin. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the crescent hammer. Yep, it's really useful. Now that, that's just for operating fluid ducts, or is uh, it just for other things as well? It's for messing around with tinker, or not tinkers, uh, thermal pipes in general. So the fluid duct, item duct, and flux duct. And they're machines. Okay. Yeah, so it, it's just very useful when you're working with thermal. So they just call it a crescent hammer because it can be used as a hammer in a pinch, right? Yes, and I accidentally just made bronze somehow. I don't know how, but I did, and it's fine.
five ingots, six nuggets, and ten sapling. Ah, that should be good enough. How do you make bronze? Well, apparently there was some random copper still in the furnace. Sad day. Oh, so that messed up the mixture? It's it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll still have plenty of tin, it's just we'll have a little bit left of stuff. And I can I can fix it, so it's no big deal. We just gotta... that up. And then... that up. There we go. Now we don't have any of the little pieces. Okay. So we should each make a wrench. Go ahead and grab one of the wrenches out of there. Don't shift click. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. So real quick, what you can do with the with the, any duct when you have the wrench, you can shift right click and instantly pick it up. Okay. It's really useful. And then what we do with the Oculus accumulator is we send a pipe up to here and that's outputting into the steam dynamo and then we just need to put some sort of uh solid uh oh yeah and you can yeah you can move move uh you can rotate in different directions with the wrench as well but you always want the okay. power facing the top nub in here gotcha Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so fuel like coal and such. Yep. And I'm gonna make a ton of flux ducts so that we can have our power lines connecting. Flux ducts are just lead and glass, thankfully. At least just the 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 lead stone. Okay. So now we have power connected. Um, we just need something to use the power. Uh, so yeah, if you want to put like lead in the steam dynamo, you can. Knock him into the lava. Yeah. Oh gosh, spider hey, almost. Either. Spider almost knocked me into the lava. Oh, skeleton skip killed it. There we go. Okay. Let me go harvest the crops. Eventually we'll get like an auto harvester if there's one in this pack. We don't have to come over here and manually harvest the crops all the time. Which will be nice. Indeed. Okay. There we go. Okay, so in the quest, we got a reward for getting the leadstone flux ducts, which is more leadstone flux ducts. Yep. Okay, let's see, we gotta stand up a sec. Okay, then we have something called a redstone furnace we can make, which is really good because it's basically an electric-consuming um, furnace. 
So we need bricks and a machine frame, which is a tin gear, which means we need more tin. I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch more tin because we're going to need it. There we go. So to make the redstone furnace, we need a redstone reception coil, which is gold and redstone. Mm. And a redstone furnace needs bricks and copper gear. We can make copper gears easily. What we do not have is bricks. So I'm going to come over here. Smelt some clay. For that. Yep, I'm smelting some clay right now. So we need to make the bricks, then we need to brick the bricks. That is a technical term. <laughs> yes, usually used on things like computers. Indeed. So yeah, we need the bricks. Not quite done yet. We need the tin. All right, I think this is a good place for us to stop. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you've enjoyed any dimension in this episode. It really does help support the channel, and we do appreciate the support. I've been joined by Preston. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.